All right, guys, so this is going to be the third and hopefully final part of this Electronics uh, model. All right, let's see here. So this Electronics model Mech-15G2R. So we're gonna replace the screen again. So if you remember where we left off, I disconnected the battery and yep. All right, so let's go ahead and get the replacement screen. The first replacement screen had some issue with the brightness. So now we're going to replace it with this one, all right? So I'm gonna slowly, carefully open this up because we still left all the screws disconnected, all right? I wanna be careful. This one had a hinge issue. I actually worked on that and fixed that as well. Here we have this part of this plastic sticking up. And again, like before, I'm gonna use the popsicle sticks so that I can mount the screen and without um, sticking it down. And then after we test everything, we'll be good to go. So again, this um, when I order the part, they just send a um, compatible model. So they actually cover the screen model number. Um, but yeah, all right. So let's hope this time we're going to be good. I'm going to unroute this cable from here so it's a little bit easier. have more slack. All right. I'm going to get this lined up. Okay. Hopefully my head doesn't get in the way. We're just going to line up the cable here. That we can plug it in all right once we got all that lined up i'm going to use my fingernails at the back of the connector here to pull that into place there we go i actually felt it click let's go ahead and put this sticker tab back on all right so now i'm gonna flip this back this way i'm gonna hold on to the screen and then again i'm gonna put these popsicle sticks here just so that it doesn't stick the screen back on okay just like this, all right. Okay. All right, you don't have to do what I'm doing here. This is so I can test it easier. If anything, you can leave the adhesive strips out. They're not really necessary. Um, so yeah, all right, we're gonna tilt the screen back over. Slowly line it back up. And, oh shoot, okay, so we have a worse issue now. So this cable, it's not, it doesn't reach far enough. So all these people are sending these compatible models, but they, they don't work right because the connector's not um, far enough. So I might have to end up ordering one from China if that's the case. Let me see if I can somehow pull this cable and then make it go through the center here so that we have a little bit more slack. And then if it works, then we can use the screen. Otherwise, then we're going to be out of luck. All right, so I'm going to get this cable and I'm going to try and make it go through the center here. So that way we have a little more slack. But if that doesn't work, then too bad. All right, so let's make this cable just go straight through that way. All right now it's not routing down the other way it was going before. And can see it's like barely gonna make that so I don't know if I'm gonna trust that yeah I'm not gonna trust that all right so this sucks I'm gonna have to order another screen it's kind of stupid um, I don't know I'm gonna have to see if I can contact the seller and see if they have the right one because this is not gonna work um, so all right I guess I'm not gonna upload well I guess we'll upload again just to show that it's not gonna work right all right, I'm going to tip the screen back forward. All right, so if you're getting all these compatible screens, just keep in mind, they might not work. So I'm going to measure and show you what the actual distance is from the cable so you can see the difference. Let me go get the original, original screen. I'm going to actually take this connector back out. Okay, this sucks. I hope my customer is not going to be like upset it's they keep sending me the wrong parts so it's kind of annoying i'm gonna have to pull this cable back out and then run it back down the way it was going before so it goes under here then it goes under this okay pull that back under there and then it goes over the top this way and then it goes underneath all these pieces here. Okay, hopefully I actually did that right. It looks like it's right based on 
the way it's guiding the wires. Okay, I'm probably going to rewatch my video to make sure that's right. Um, but yeah, it looks like it should be good. Okay, let me go get the original screen and I'll show you the difference in how far it is. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Here you can see I have both screens lined up. And you can see there's a much further um, gap there. So let me get my measuring tape here. As you can see, I'm going to measure from the edge of the screen here. Okay, let's actually go in millimeters. So this is almost 11 centimeters here. Okay, and we're going to compare it to this one. And this one is like 10 centimeters. So you're missing almost a whole centimeter over. Okay, so here you can see this gap here, the difference. All right. You can see we almost have a whole centimeter difference right there. Okay, so yeah, the replacement screen's not going to work with that because of that difference. Um, so I'm not even going to try to put it in. I mean, I could try stretching this cable over which I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, I mean, it has room for it, but let me check the bezel actually real quick. If the bezel allows for the clips to go, um, it actually allows for it. So I can probably fit this screen. Let me actually, we'll try this, okay? Because I don't want my customer to keep waiting and I'm gonna be going on a trip soon. So what I'm going to do here, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Let me fold that back as far as possible. Okay, let me zoom in a bunch more. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to unroute this cable here. All right, and here you can see I can actually pull a little more slack over this way. And then I can make this go straight over the wireless antenna instead of curving down there. The only thing is I have to straighten out the, the cabling here. So let's straighten out the cabling here. We're going to make it just run straight through all the way. Okay, straight through all the way here. And hopefully that's far enough. It looks like it actually is. It might actually be a little further than it needs to be. So let's attempt this then and we shall see. Okay, so I'm going to get this connector and put it back in. I guess if you get a screen like this and the connector is too far you can attempt that as well um, but keep in mind only if it's like a centimeter if it's more than a centimeter you're not gonna have any luck all right so make sure to pull the connector you'll feel it click into place make sure you have it pulled in all the way because if you have it slightly off you're gonna end up having issues there so again I'm gonna stick these popsicle sticks here just so that they are keeping the screen from attaching. Okay. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I'm doing this so I can test it to make sure because if I go ahead and put this and it doesn't work, then I'm going to end up having to rip the other screen out and it's going to be a pain. Right. So we got these popsicle sticks all in here. I'm going to tilt this screen back over. Make sure it's lined up and everything is fitting. So yeah, actually there's more slack than needed now after I move that wire. But the problem is if you don't have all this slack, then it's actually going to be a problem. So it's nice. This one I have this kind of extra room to be able to move this. But some models won't have that. So keep that in mind. Not all screens are the same and you can have issues. All right, so there we go. We got that connected. I'm going to flip this over, pull the bottom cover back off. We're going to reattach the battery connector into here. Okay, make sure it's lined up right, and then pinch the two pieces together. I'm going to put this back on just so it doesn't get damaged if I touch it on the bottom circuits. All right, and let's go ahead and power it up. Which one is the power button here? This one. All right, I might have to press and hold it or plug it in. So press and hold. And okay, it's turning on. So we're going to give it a second. Make sure everything is connected right. Oh no, I don't see any backlight at all on here. 
I do see some screen coming up. I do see the Luketronics logo, but there's no brightness at all. So I don't know. It turned itself off. I'm going to leave the bottom cover off. Again, I also didn't peel this thing off yet because I wanted to make sure everything's working first. So let's go ahead and power it on. Oh, I can actually see it. It's the screen brightness is completely off. Okay, I'm going to hold the function key. Let's see if we adjust the brightness here. Nothing is happening. Okay, I see the screen flickering as well. Let me shut this down. Okay, there's no backlight at all, but as you can see in the video, it's actually on. You can see something. So I'm going to make sure this computer turns off. I'm going to put the original screen back in just to show the difference because that screen actually was displaying video output. Let's go ahead and pull this connector back out. I'm going to wiggle this. There we go. And pull the battery connector out. And then I'm going to press and hold the power button to drain any power here. Very important. Hold this 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. So again, it's looking like the replacement is not a correct replacement. There's no screen. I'm most likely going to have to go with the more expensive from China because they actually will tell me it's this exact model. Not like these where they'll tell me it's the model. I don't know why. And then they end up sending a replacement or like a, they call it compatible like screen model. Okay, so we're going to see here if it's really compatible or not. I press and held the power button with the battery removed. That's very important. I'm going to pull this connector out. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the original screen because if the original screen is not working, then maybe something happened to it. So let's go ahead and put the original screen back in and see what we get. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this cabling because I want to make sure we have it back in the right way so you can actually see where the screen has the curve in it so I can put it back the same way okay so there then it goes up here it looks like this goes back underneath there we go then this Looks like it's supposed to go on top, but that's kind of weird. All right, well, okay, and just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this back in. I'm going to stick this popsicle stick back on there. All right, hopefully it's not the backlight circuit that's messed up. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back in. Okay, get that lined up. Pull the connector back into place again. Make sure it's connected all the way. Put this adhesive back down, flip the screen upwards, get it into place, just like that, get that lined up. Okay, so we've got all the cabling back in, there we go, let's flip this back up. Alright, so if I remember correctly, the whole center of their screen was kind of okay, but the outsides were bad. Let's reconnect this, pinching the battery connector back in. Let's go ahead and push the power button again. I hope I pressed it. I can't tell. Okay, I hear the fan spinning. And here I can actually see it's lit up right here. It's flickering. Okay, it shut itself off because I think the BIOS reset since we removed the battery. So we'll give it a second, let it power back up. Keyboard is lighting up. I don't know if the screen got damaged more from taking all this stuff out, so we'll see if we can actually see anything on the screen. I do see a line here that's lit up much more than the old screen. Okay, but it's pretty dim. I hope the other screens didn't cause some problems with it. Let's uh, see if we can adjust the brightness. Might have to hold the function key. So it's like flickering on and off. If I turn off the screen, it might be they have more than just the screen damage, actually. So here you can actually see what's going on. Let me actually turn off this light as well. There we go. You can actually see the screen here. 
So I'm going to try with the function keys and see if we can adjust the brightness. So it's doing the weird flickery thing. So actually maybe the other screen was okay and this is actually the something else is bad on it, not just the screen. I don't know. I can try one other one, but this uh, this latest replacement screen is worse than the other one. So let me hold the function key. Try and adjust the brightness. Nothing happens. Can I adjust the keyboard backlight brightness on here? I don't know what button to press on here. No, those don't do anything. But uh, as you can see, the screen backlight kind of changes weird when I press this. It's not like an accurate one. So it might be more than just the backlight or the just the screen that's broken. Anyways, I guess we're going to shut this off. It's hard to see what I'm doing now. So I am probably just going to have to hold the power button. Um, but yeah. All right, we're gonna shut this off. I'm gonna let the customer know because most likely it's not just the screen. Let's turn this light back on. So yeah, this one might be more than just the screen that's the issue. It might be when it broke, it shorted something. But uh, we're gonna disconnect the battery out again. Okay, so let's take that back out. And we're going to press and hold the power button to drain it again. And then we're going to disconnect the screen. And we'll see. I'll give it another shot. Maybe I'll see if I can find the exact replacement. It's really hard to find for some reason. People aren't selling the exact replacement screen. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. All right. So we're going to hold this power button, drain the power. There we go. 15 seconds. We'll put this cover back on and we'll try... One more, if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna give up on this one. So let's pop this forward again. Okay, unroute the cabling. All right, let's pull this up. It could be because their hinge was broken. Maybe their key or the LCD cable is also damaged because it was yanking on this. So we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and pull that back. All right, we got the old screen back out. We are going to have to get a replacement again. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I don't know. Hopefully this video is at least helping you guys see like what kind of problems you might experience when you go to replace these things. But um, yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye.